Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin. I'm just on super quick here to do my stash down 2023 recap video. Um, if you aren't familiar with stash down, Miss Bridget from Queen's Craft by Bridget, please go check her out. Started um an event, a challenge, just something fun to help us encourage to use that wasn't grammatically correct in any way to help encourage us to use our stash and you know just somehow tabulate what we've been using I've been keeping track of it in ounces so basically when I finish a project I weigh it and I write it down in my book I do not count any unfinished projects so things like Sophie doesn't count and I'm only counting the things that are fully made from stash yarn so if I had to add a little something that wasn't stash yarn, I just didn't count it. So this is a stash yarn that I purchased prior to January 1, 2023. And in, it's not on this page, in the month of February, I used from my stash a whopping 79.9 ounces of yarn from my stash. What helped in that greatly was that gemstone blanket. That was yarn I had purchased intending to make a blanket like that. And it just sat and sat and sat. And I said, nope, you are being made right now. And it was. <laughs> and it turned out beautifully. I'm very excited for it. Um, was there any other bigger projects in that? Definitely, I think that was definitely the biggest one. Um, the It's a Hoot Owl blanket or Owl um, basket. That was stash yarn. That was, it didn't even use two full skeins of yarn though. This was stash. Um, I got that from a Lion Brand mystery bag last year. And that was, um, I'm going to send that out very shortly to our winner from the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. Congratulations, Tammy. I shall get it backed up and out to you. Um, by the way, I have not heard from my other winner yet. So if you haven't watched if you haven't watched my um, drawing video for the Crafting Creator, Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight and you participated in March, nope. If you participated in February, because you can still participate in March. But for February, please go check that drawing video because right now we have an unclaimed prize. I want people to get their winnings. Um, Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, 75.9 ounces in the can. And, oh, I have another kind of, kind of related announcement. Separate from that, I've been keeping track of, what's this? Oh, I know that is a surprise for the monetization, or for the, um, anniversary. Um, I've been keeping my labels when I finish yarn, if it's stash yarn or not, regardless if I use it. It goes in here as soon as it's used. We have had to upgrade boxes. We outgrew the first box. We are on a larger box now. And at the rate I'm going, I think we're going to have to upgrade this puppy a couple more times. But yeah, keep, um, keep a lookout for this box. We're going to be um, doing, uh, you know, a guess the number of labels type adventure at the end of the year. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Go check out Bridget at Queen's Crafts by Bridget for all of her awesomeness and to see how much yarns and things everybody else has used as well. And I love it that she's keeping track of like cumulative so you can know just how much yarn everybody or other products. I mean, last month I did uh, the Amigurumi Jellyfish. And so like... The eyes were from my stash and the polyfill was from my stash. So all of that counted too. So it's just pounds of items, ounces of, of items that have been in this room that are going out of this room and into the world to be used. Yeah, Benfair. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. <laughs>